Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to explain why Tom Brady makes Democrats, the left, Twitter, um, really morally superior liberal, uh, liberal um, and progressive um, pundits. I want to, I'm going to explain why Tom Brady makes them act in the irrational manner that they've been, they've been uh, acting. Before I do so, a couple things. There's a really wonderful gentleman who um, watches the show. Uh, I've been interviewed by him. A really, really awesome person. A couple things. He stated recently that I don't do live streams because I'm mourning for pre- uh, because of, uh, I'm mourning Trump's loss. No, I don't do live streams anymore, and I I will uh, eventually when um, things warm up. The location I do live streams is very cold. Uh, just that's re- that's why I wear the uh, Yushanka and and the jackets when I used to do the live streams, and now my videos are doing a lot better. So thank God the channel is moving up. My videos are doing better, um, and it's just easier right now not to do the live streams because it takes a lot out of me. That being said, this gentleman also said that uh, President Trump not being president is going to save lives. Uh, how is that possible when the shot in the arm people are taking was developed under Trump's administration? Democrats said that it was impossible. Media said it was impossible. The timeline, the trials, well, people are taking the shot from President Trump's. That was developed during President Trump's administration by numerous companies. That being said, I urge this gentleman to go to the New York Times. New York Times statistics, you can see aggregate lives lost. Seven of the top 10 states that have the highest number, the greatest number of lives lost are Democratic-run states. If you want to look at per capita rates, the highest per capita rates in terms of the pandemic, the top three highest are what? New York, New Jersey, uh, Connecticut is up there. But the top three in terms of highest per capita rates are Democratic-run states, blue states. So I don't see how Trump, uh, one person, is has more of an impact on the lives of Americans than a governor, than Democratic governors who've presided, Phil Murphy in New Jersey, uh, Andrew Cuomo in New York, other Democratic governors throughout the country have presided over the worst outcomes. And people like de Blasio in New York, mayors have presided over the worst outcomes. They're Democrat. They're not, uh, they're, they have, they're not Trump Republicans. So how they get away with, and what's Biden doing differently? How is Biden saving any lives? Anyway, that being said, so I'm just just a quick rebuttal to that gentleman. Um, I have no I have no reason to mourn President Trump's loss, also because you're going to have Republicans in the House in 2022. Um, so President Trump pretty much controls the Republican Party. He didn't incite anyone. He didn't tell anyone what to do. That that was a horrendous tragedy. He didn't say, "Hey, do this." But getting back to Tom Brady. There's one primary reason, ladies and gentlemen, and if you go go look at the 2021 federal uh, Joe Biden executive orders, not one executive order mentions Hispanic or Latino citizens or black or African-American citizens, not one. Without the black and Latino community, the Democratic Party doesn't exist. There's not one push, there's not one immigration bill in Congress that Democrats have rallied around that would, that per, would perhaps help uh, a great many people within the Latino and Hispanic communities in the United States of America. Not one immigration bill are they pushing. They're not pushing uh, the Voting Rights Amendment Act, of, uh, that John Conyers um, uh, and Jim Sensenbrenner wrote years back. So in terms of vo- voter suppression that Democrats talk about when they lose, that would have addressed the issues um, from the from the Supreme Court years back, and the Voting Rights Amendment Act. So, uh, and the Voting Rights Amendment. So, um, they, tell me a bill in Congress that positively impacts the lives of core constituencies within the Democratic Party. Tell me an executive order. They're governing, they're governing now. They have the House, they have the Senate, they have the presidency. What are, they do, what are they doing for their voters aside from not being Trump? I'm waiting. Go and look. Uh, I want to know what executive order 
directly impact the lives of African-American or black voters or Hispanic or Latino voters. You have a whole lot here talking about certain topics that you could say, well, it, it, it affects the voter, Democratic voters, but it doesn't, uh, when, you, when you click on and find out what the executive order is, is about, it's like, oh, we have to develop strategies, we have to do some more research on this, we're a, a nicer country than the country that Trump uh, you know, presided over, we have to uphold our values. No, no reference to any legislation. So what laws are they implementing? They are only impeaching President Trump. So how does this relate to um, Tom Brady? Tom Brady won the Super Bowl, his seventh in 10 uh, Super Bowl appearances. He's friends with Donald Trump. He probably supports President Trump. I'm not putting words in Tom Brady's mouth, but he probably supports President Trump. You don't get to be a seven-time champion when you were a sixth-round draft pick by caring what people think of you. There are 74 million supporters of President Trump. Trump presided over a fact record low unemployment throughout most of his tenure. The pandemic was not Trump's fault. You want to blame Trump, then also blame Cuomo and Whitmer and Phil Murphy and governors that completely ignored the pandemic in the early, in the early part of 2000. I would love to know what Democrats were saying about the pandemic in the early part of 2000. They said, oh, well, Trump knew. The intelligence community told him that the intelligence, that, that's a report that has an anonymous source saying that officials say, we have no clue what the intelligence community knew. If, if it's based on their track record, they were almost certainly wrong. You can look at the Bay of Pigs, Gulf of Tonkin, WMD, now Facebook ads, and then know how Trump is this da you know, big danger. Give me a break. And why didn't the intelligence community leak the information like it leaked the Steele dossier? So he didn't, he, every, any president would have been blindsided because, well, especially Trump, he was being impeached the first time on nonsense over an ellipsis. They impeached Trump on what the United States government is doing now, investigating uh, Biden's son Caligula. So I want to know what, I want to know what Trump, how Trump is directly responsible for the pandemic that has hit blue states a lot more than red states. Go look at the statistics. Seven out of the top 10 states in terms of lives lost. Now, you can slice and dice it in terms of cases now, but people are surviving. The survival rate, thank God, I'm not even going to bring the, the, the number up, but the vast majority of people survive. We have a country of 320 million Americans. Yeah, it, there's a great many people who've lost their lives disproportionate amount in blue states and it's a tragedy and it's horrendous but democrats have presided over that disproportionate amount and it's interesting how they they rejoice in the most gleeful and malicious manner when a republican loses his or her life or a conservative or a trump supporter you see he didn't listen to us well people have been listening to democratic governors they have presided over the worst outcome so now what but anyway they don't have anything but dislike for Trump. Trump is no longer there. They have Biden governing the country now. He's no longer there. Biden's been president for what? Three, four weeks now. Or th three weeks. What has he done? Absolutely nothing. Medicare for all, Green New Deal legislation, universal basic income. These are things the left wants. Biden does not want those things. Democrats do not want those things. And anyone like Jimmy Dore who says, oh, let's go ahead and implement or at least vote on, at least have a floor vote, at least have a vote in the House of Representatives. You're only going to be there for two more years. Republicans are going to, are going to take uh, control of the House. And by the way, I'm not right about everything. Just because I'm not right about something doesn't mean I'm lying. Another thing, this pro one of the gentlemen who critiqued me said, oh, he's a liar. Like, what did I lie about? Was I wrong about certain things that didn't take place? That doesn't mean you're lying. That means that you have a, a, an opinion or a vantage point or a prediction that didn't happen. I was the only person on the left to say that Clinton was going to lose the election in 2016, and she did. I was right about Trump rush. I said it was complete nonsense. It was. I was right about the first impeachment. I said it was complete. Uh, it was a, another setup, uh, just like the Steele dossier, but this time with a whole bunch of uh, quote-unquote whistleblowers that came out of the woodwork. 
and accuse Trump of doing something that doesn't, it's not, that's, again, it's not even part of national security. They impeached him on what the U.S. government is now doing. So I was right about that. The analysis that I give on this channel is pretty much spot on. Do I make a mistake? Sure, I do. Doesn't mean you're lying. Doesn't mean you're making things up or lying, which is what I was accused of. Okay, doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so they don't have anything but contempt for Trump. They don't have policies. They don't have a Green New Deal legislation. They don't have universal basic income. They don't have Medicare for all. They don't even have a comprehensive immigration reform bill, which, by the way, I would want. I have friends who are dreamers. I want them to become citizens tomorrow. Yesterday, I want them to be citizens. I think dream the dreamers should be citizens tomorrow. The Democrats don't. Uh, Trump said he would, if he just got the funding for the wall, that he would, he would uh, give dreamers citizenship. Democrats said, no way. Well, now they have uh, the government in their hands. They're doing nothing. So what are they doing for their voters? Nothing. It's all lip service. It's all public relations. President Trump signed the First Step Act, signed prison reform legislation, allocated more funding to historically black colleges and universities than any president ever made it permanent. Um, Abraham Accords, peace between Israel, UAE, Bahrain, first president to step foot in North Korea to begin detente between North and South Korea, reversed U.S. foreign policy, ended the war in Afghanistan, removed Americans from Syria, uh, ended our involvement there to the extent uh, or at least try to, you had intelligence operatives lying to him, ended covert programs of selling arms to rebels, which was a covert regime change from President Obama's administration, who ended up destroying Libya in a failed NATO intervention. Yeah, Trump was a much better president than President Obama. He was a much better leader than President Obama or Bush. These people had an entire media apparatus propping them up. Bush did not. I mean, Trump did not. Trump had media slicing and dicing every single word to say that he was misleading and lying. By the way, a misleading statement or miscategorizing or obfuscating, these are, these are phrases that are now used to uh, convey a fact check. No, no, no. A fact check is, is this fact correct, yes or no, and you leave it at that. You don't rate it different Pinocchios, or you don't rate it somewhat true, somewhat misleading. Politics and um, when, when, when Trump makes a claim like, well, this is the best economy ever, it's, it, for, for most of his tenure, we had record low unemployment, record low black and Latino unemployment. It was one of the best economies ever. When he said it was the best economy, then the fact checkers, you know, started getting into a frenzy, their usual apoplectic, uh, hysterical frenzy. And they go, oh, yeah, he was, he's lying, he's misleading, it's not the best economy ever, here's an example of when it was better. The hyperbole, they, they, they take hyperbole that any president engage, engages in, President Obama especially, and Bush especially, with WMD, that, that, though these are overt lies. Just because the intelligence community says something doesn't mean it's not a lie. So nobody's lied more than media. Pre did President Obama tell the truth when he said we're going to go into uh, Libya and, and save people's lives? Well, he might have believed it, but it's either, it was either a, 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 a horrendous lie or a, just a complete catastrophe and a failed intervention in terms of what he wanted to take place. It was a well-meaning intervention. So Democrats slither out of responsibility for their catastrophe, their catastrophic decisions. But again, Tom Brady, let me get back to Don Tom Brady. It's not about um, when Tom Brady won the uh, his seventh title. It's about Democrats not having any policies that actually help black voters. None. None of uh, Biden's executive orders mention the words black or African American or Latino or Hispanic in the title. That's because they're not directed towards uh, the core constituent, the, the, the core voters, the reason without black and Latino voters, there is no Democratic Party. But Democrats have media, they have sports now, they have Twitter, <clears throat> they have a cyber reality where they can say, oh my God, look at this now. So they don't have Trump. Trump's not on Twitter, so now Tom Brady's the bad person. But it's smoke and mirrors. It's a sleight of hand. 
It is deflection. They don't have Medicare for all, Green New Deal legislation, universal basic income. They don't have uh, a comprehensive immigration reform bill. They don't have anything in terms of policies and governing that actually helps their supporters. They have one thing, contempt, disdain, hysteria, apoplectic, seething, fuming, angry reaction to Trump. That's it. That's all they have. He didn't incite anyone with his words. He didn't tell anyone. Those people have free will. People do bad things on their own. We had a billion to two billion dollars in property damage. We had Seattle and Portland left-leaning protesters throwing uh, incendiaries, projectiles at, at law enforcement and they swept under the rug by media. 19 people lost their lives during the five to six months of uh, peaceful, very peaceful protests, yes. Was it for a just cause? Yes, it was. What, was, was there tremendous chaos and mayhem and carnage and destructive uh, d- destruction? Yes. People were boarding up signs and saying, here, this organization, please, we, we, we believe in you. Please don't destroy our business. So spare me the, oh, Trump is this monster. Without ev- The only thing stopping this country from actually having a debate and discourse and dialogue is the fact that Republicans uh, haven't, the, the never Trump Republicans haven't all been kicked out yet. Once they are, and Trump controls the party after 2022 completely, you'll have a traditional political system with an opposition, with, with opposing views. Now Democrats and Mitt Romney and Hollywood and intelligence operatives and 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 contempt for even Tom Brady. Now you have this alternate reality that doesn't take into account the 74 million Americans who voted for President Trump. They're still pretending that Trump is on is on Twitter. And if they if they don't have uh, Trump on Twitter, they'll say, "Well, Tom Brady is the closest thing." And it's all to take focus away from what AOC is trying to take focus. Why do you think AOC has been in the news lately, saying things? Be, one of the things that she, one of the issues that she's trying to circumvent is Jimmy Dore, who has stated, "Hey, why don't you? Why don't we pass a Medicare for All bill?" AOC got elected to do this, and you see AOCs, and you see uh, the um, 20, 20 million dollar venture capital people who have been. Uh, propping who've helped her become uh, the congresswoman that she is. They are all against even a vote. And they, then they, they repackage it and they spin it as, well, you know, the Democrats would be upset and that would be really bad for us. Give me your thoughts below. This segment is not all about Tom Brady, but why do you think they're upset that Tom Brady won? It has nothing to do with sports or Tom Brady or even Trump. It has to do with their um, inept governing, their inability to actually give their own voters something to, to, to be happy about. Democrats are all about incremental change. By the way, Democrats said that many, many said they were uh, for uh, reparations. That's in addition to Medicare for All, in addition to Green New Deal legislation, in addition to immigration reform. Where are these policies? <clears throat> they have no intention at all. Democrats, are the, uh, many of them, are the most decept- deceptive, deceitful liars. That is a lie. When you promise something and then you say, gosh, you know, I just can't right now. That's a lie. Give me your thoughts below. They're upset at Tom Brady now because they don't want the truth, which everyone knows. The truth is that they don't have any policies. The only policies they have is we're not Trump, which, by the way, is enough for most Democrats. Give me your thoughts. Thank you.